everybody, what's going on? Your host, AMF1534 here. Welcome back to Let's Play some more Future Cop LAPD. Now, I know what you're thinking. Hey, Adam, Griffith Park? What the fuck? You beat that last time. Where's Zuma Beach at? Well, I've got reasons for everything that I do, even though I'm not particularly happy about this one. So this is what's going on. My memory card doesn't work. Just not even at all. Don't know why, but at this point, what the hell else is new? I mean, if, if it's not one thing, it's the other thing. I got memory cards that don't work, I got microphones that don't want to cooperate. It's just my life. But thank God that this game integrated a password system because I've got all the passwords written down here. We're going to be able to, you know, take care of that no problem. So it's, it's awesome like that. So not only do we get to take care of that and have everything be cool, you guys also get a little bit of a crash course in Future Cop LAPD cheats. Hey! Cool. Alright, so let's go unlock level 2 so that we can get moving here. The coolest thing about this password system is that you only have to change probably like three letters in this entire thing. Because they give you kind of like a skeleton of a password. I'll show you what I mean. So T... A... F and then R, G, Y, B, L, R, and all of those are already there. And so the only other thing we have to change would be this other one to another R. And then look at that. Dun dun dun! Just a whole other level. That is the best idea. Fucking future cop people. They're just like, hey, we don't want to make you put in a long ass fucking password because it's annoying. So we'll just give you the shell of it and just give you a few letters to change. That's how you do it. X1 Alpha, this is Central. We have a Code 2 in Zuma Beach. The perp is Xerxes Zeno. You Such know, an the king awesome of designer name. drugs. His new batch of Xtreme Z is killer. Literally. No customer complaints. They're all dead. <laughs> Looks like he's not on his Walter White quality. That's caution, obvious. X1 Alpha. The place hums with automated protection, heavy ordnance, and drug crazed zombies. So what else is now? Your target is the extreme. Oh, God damn it, dude! I hate station. this boss encounter you know, so much. I you really do. Use all necessary force. You'll just, you'll know exactly what I mean when we get there. All right, so here's what's going down. So not only are we getting to do a new level today, we also have unlocked two new weapons to use. Now. We also have we have the minigun here, but our new unlocked item is the flamethrower. However, I don't like it. And I know that's it that sounds weird to say, but this may be one of the only games in which I don't like the flamethrower over a minigun, which is weird. But this is the best thing. We have unlocked my favorite weapon in the entire game, the concussion beam! Dun dun dun! God, I'm so happy to use this thing. And then uh, the mortar launcher, we're still good to go on that. So here we go. Oh man, I can't wait for you guys to see the awesomeness that is the concussion beam because it just rapes people right through their square buttholes. I don't care. I don't. Since when did I ever care about taxpayers? I mean, I do, but not today. I don't. I mean, think about the world right now. It's just, uh, it's just going to shit. So I think that taxpayers are the last thing we have to worry about. Even though we definitely totally need to worry about that because taxpayers make the world to go around. Are you ready to see the awesomeness that this thing can do? Just uh, feast your eyes upon this. Ah, ah, God, it's so awesome. Not to mention it just sounds cool, among other things. So this is actually probably the best game we could have been playing. Let's just go deal with the crowd here. See, these guys all have flamethrowers. And you know what? They can have it because I'm just going to tear him apart with my minigun. I think I'm just a guy that has like a... I don't want to say like a fetish, but I, I have an affinity for this minigun in this game. I don't know why necessarily, but I just, I really like it. It's just, it's just a good overall weapon to have. Okay, so these attack drones are going to be a piece of shit, but this is exactly why I grabbed this weapon, because it's just more efficient for the task at hand. And we get a little bit of a power up for it right out the That's gate, so let's just uh, let's exhibit some power here. Boom! God, I love it. Lock system disabled. You pop the lid off that can. Yes, I did. Don't damn it! There. Come on! God damn it! I'm trying to get it over the wall there. There we go. Home run. Now we got to go pop the lock on the door. Or actually, no, we already did that. But we need to take care of some things here. Of which these little these little guys are really annoying. These little flying turret guys. Not not a big fan of them. 
and they just keep coming. So don't don't worry about them for the moment. We just gotta take everything out. This this level is much more serious than the one we did before this. I mean, they really really stepped up their security measures quite a lot actually, because now we've got fucking tanks everywhere, and it's just uh, it's gonna be a lot harder. That there's a very realistic possibility that I may die during this. So don't be too surprised with that. I count four power sources emanating from the power grid. So, it's like the perfect thing that I was playing a game like this, considering what happened to me last night. It'd be like the perfect time to talk about it. So, last night, uh, I'm, I'm out driving uh, with Maddie. We were hanging out, and we decided to go get something to eat because we were fucking starving. And uh, we're like, well, let's, uh, let's just go see what's going on out there, and we'll, uh, we'll go figure it out. And so, for those of you that don't know what, uh, where I live, which I don't think any of you guys really know where I live, because I wouldn't just actively tell you that, but the city that I live in, it, it's it's a pretty small town. I mean, we're talking like 30,000 people, and it's like all pretty much everything that happens in this city is all based off of like one, like one main road. It's just like the main drag, and then that's pretty much it. Yeah, we can cut through trees with that laser, by the way. Ah! Didn't mean to do that. Yeah, just just so we're clear here, if you accidentally go in the water, you you uh, change into a car, which is weird. You'd think that you wouldn't want to do that. That's a gun weapon power up. Okay, so now we're gonna want to use our little uh, little shield reloader here. But we're uh, we're out driving around, and uh, you know we're we're just headed down the road, and it's like 1:30 in the morning, so it's not like there's a lot of people out there. And. Uh, we're driving, and then all of a sudden, we pull up, or we're, like, driving by the, uh, Wells Fargo bank. And then shit gets real. We, all of a sudden, we see... Ah! Yeah, dude, this is, this little area is very problematic. I don't know how it is that these guys are not getting totally electrocuted in here. Like, look at the, look at those big, huge balls of electric matter just flying around. How are these guys not totally dead? Let me just get up here really quick. Ah, fuck. We will do it. We'll get up here. I promise. There is a, there is a way. I just I don't remember exactly how to do it. <laughs> ah, fuck. I think. Oh, that's what we have to do. That's right. Yeah, I remember now. Let me let me do this really quick, and then we'll talk about the rest of my story. One more, and that should actually take the the whole electric grid thing away. There we go. Now we're good. So we're out driving. We go by the Wells Fargo, and then all of a sudden, we just we see like one truck pulled over in the parking lot there, and like literally the entire the entire Kaiser police force was just chilling. They had all of them had the lights on, and there was like a full on standoff going on. And we're just like, dude, what the fuck is going on out here right now? Like, what happened? And like we, like I thought, and it's probably just because they were out in front of a bank. But my first thought was, well, this this guy probably tried to pull off like some kind of bank heist or something. While it, you know, obviously not a bad time to do it when there's nobody here. You don't have to worry about taking hostages or anything like that. You can just fucking stroll right on in there and do your business. And so we're just like, fuck, dude, that's that's crazy. And so we just decided to keep on going, so we didn't want to get in the way of anything, especially if there was going to be, like, gunfire going off. That's, like, the last place you want to be. By the way, the, the song they have playing for this uh, for this map is actually really cool. It kind of has, like, this, uh, this like, riot-type sound to it, with, like, all the people cheering in the back. Um... Oh, the, these things. Yeah, we gotta find a few more of these. I think there's, I think there's four of them, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, whoa, Jesus! Yeah, that's where this gets, this, that's where this gets ugly. Is these people strutting around with these fucking things? They hurt. They really do. Um, so we decided to drive down to the end of the thing, looking for some food. We decided not to go to McDonald's, which is probably a good idea. I mean, I love Mighty Wings as much as the next guy, but you just sometimes you just can't do that. You just can't. You got you got to take your own health into consideration sometimes. Sick. That's a special weapon power up. We're not going to be using that just yet. But we'll uh, we'll think about it going forward. Oh, here we go. There's another one. Circuit breaker two deactivated. Perfect. God, I love it. I just love it. 
Oh shit, god, these guys are just fucking everywhere. So, we decided to uh, come back down the other way. Circuit Breaker 3, deactivate. And uh, we, still, we still see them there, and we're kind of getting a little bit uncomfortable about it now. We're like, well, what the fuck? Like, why, like, why is this going on? Like, if it was... If it was that bad, and there was only one guy in the car, so but we saw like one cop just like bolting it down the street, like on foot. So we were thinking, well, I wonder if there was another guy that just you know did the the quintessential cops thing and tried to you know get out of the car and outrun the cops, and it totally ended up not working. I'm assuming. But uh, we come to I come to find out later this morning because I posted a picture of it on Instagram and uh, one of my friends, his dad is like the head of the Kaiser Police Force or something like that. Oh fuck yeah, dude! I forgot about this. this treasure trove of goods. So we got ammo, ammo, more ammo. Yeah, now we're ready. We are ready to take them on. Even as big as those things are, they just can't even handle this at all. Which is Look great. All those jets are in the air. Let's, uh, let's take care of these guys real quick. There we go. So yeah, I come to find out that there was actually like a full like a full scale murder that happened that day. Oh my gosh. This guy just won't leave us alone for a moment. And if you want to play hardball like that, we can totally play hardball. I think I'm a little bit better equipped for that. I've got my power lasers right now. Good going. Yeah, you're damn fucking right, good going. Um, so yeah, dude, there was a full-on murder that happened, and that's where they ended up catching him. So, like, we literally just drove right by that with the cops, you know, catching that guy. I don't know exactly, like, where the murder happened and how he got there, but that was pretty crazy. Like, we... and. This is, it's definitely not a bad city that I live in, so it's its not a very common thing to have that happen. Like, murders are not a regular occurrence in this place. Fuck, dude, yeah, this is this is not a good place to be. We're gonna, we're gonna mess around with this just a little bit. Because there's definitely a lot of shield stuff to be had here, so we can, if we need to, we can, we can definitely be okay. That was fun. Eh, not necessarily. Come on, there we go. Got the gun weapon power up. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back. We'll go back to the area that we were just in a couple minutes ago, and we'll go get that shield just because it's there. Oh, here we go. Nice. Didn't really need it, but we might as well take it. We're actually pretty close to the boss fight, now that I think about it. It's not exactly a very long level. It's just a little bit more hectic than the rest of them. But yeah, it's just a, you don't really see that kind of thing happen too often in this area. Oh, yeah, mini boss fight. This is not the main one. Yeah, it shows how much of a boss fight that was, by the way. It was pretty much nothing. Nothing at all. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We need to take it. We need to take it easy for a second here on using our special weaponry because of the way this boss fight goes. It is a real, real piece of shit. I I absolutely promise you that. This actually is a way better vantage point. Um, so yeah, just you don't really find that it happened too often around here. So when it does happen, it's kind of an alarming thing. It's I mean, if it's anything, it's usually. You know, kids being fucking stupid with high school parties and whatever, and, you know, you get kids speeding and stuff like that, and just, like, petty theft and all that jazz, but you don't really too often find, like, full-scale, you know, hardcore murder and all that. So, it was, it was pretty crazy just to, just to find out that we were driving just right in the vicinity of that whole thing. Pretty crazy. Now... This is my big advice for this entire encounter, is whatever you do, do not, and I repeat, do not go all the way up there. You just don't want to do it. Okay, so we blew up the little generator thing here, and I'm probably going to go against my own, my own thing here, but because we have enough health to do it with, we can probably... We can probably do this. It's actually not going to be that bad. But while you're fighting, like, while you're fighting the rest of this stuff, I would advise staying down where you're at. It just, it's a much better idea. It's safer. 
but then you can just kind of unload on this guy, because he's not very fast. So that certainly makes this a lot easier to deal with. But just keep on using your concussion beam and he'll be down in no time. Maybe uh, use your use your minigun while you're at it too. Just speed up the process a little. And there we go. Just like that, he is gone. I don't think anyone will miss his house calls. Ah, probably not. I mean, he's definitely, obviously not the best designer drug maker, because he likes to fucking kill people with it. Nice work, X1 Alpha. Looks clear. Over. Then again, I'm not sure, really, if if uh, th that Xerxes Zeno guy is necessarily the culprit here. I mean, he is, because he's... <laughs> I forgot about that. That was funny. I always forget that that happens there. But, I mean, I get it. He was making, you know, illegal designer drugs, and obviously that's against the law, but... I mean, those drugs, if you probably just... If you just take them the way that you're supposed to take them... Maybe they're not in, entirely that bad. It's just that, obviously, when you get druggies and whatever, they're going to just take more of it and more of it, way more than they're supposed to because they're addicted to it. But, uh, you know, whatever. So, with that all out of the way, my friends, this is what we're going to be doing next time on Future Cop LAPD, as we actually made pretty quick use of that. I usually, every time I play this game, I usually die on Zuma Beach at least once, so I'm actually really, really satisfied with that. We're going to be heading off to the iconic LeBray Tar Pits. This level also can be extremely difficult. Hopefully, we'll get through it in, uh, in, you know, we'll get through it without any sort of big problem, but the latter half of that level is what I'm worried about. That's where things get ugly. So, we'll give it a shot next time. Until then, this is your host, AMF 1534, saying... I witnessed the aftermath of a murder last night, which was pretty crazy. And, uh, yeah, so that's that. And uh, when we come back, we're going to have some fun. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.